Hey everybody, uh, hope you enjoy the new background. Thought I'd make it a little more interesting. Um, last class, we learned how to make a MATLAB program talk to Arduino. <clears throat> Today, what we're going to do is we're going to have an Arduino program talk to MATLAB, or MATLAB receive data from Arduino. Okay. So, first thing we're going to need to do is in our Arduino program, uh, you'll notice that I have created my little photo cell here. So let's go over and look at Arduino and um, <clears throat> pull up your good old photo cell uh, sketch that you've already made before. If you need to review, you can just look at mine. It's very, very simple. It should have no more than just simply in your setup you open up your serial port to 9600 loop <clears throat> remember you are um, sending your data over to the analog port so you're going to go um, one side goes to grant you you set up your photo cell and a 100k ohm resistor in series with the photo cell then you run ground. I don't think it matters which way you go. Ground on one end of the photo cell, your three volts on the other side where the resistor would be. The most important thing is that you put your ADC pin in the middle between the two. Okay, that's the most important thing. And um, Again, you if you uh, the uh, again the other thing is that you only want to send one piece of data. If your program has other things in it, uh, delete all of that stuff out. You want your program to look just like this. All it does is read analog port A or oh, zero, which is the ADC port and it prints it out and then give it a delay of 50 milliseconds okay so when you open your serial port like this you should be seeing numbers and when I you know move my hand over this then you start seeing the numbers change all good okay all good Okay, so we know that the Arduino program works and it's sending data. And again, the only thing you should see are the numbers. Um, just FYI, I still have my little red-green LED program off to the side. I just used a different part of my board to get the photo cell part in. Okay, so let's run over to MATLAB and see what's going on in MATLAB. Uh, <clears throat> go ahead and type in your command window, type edit photo cell. Now I'm not going to hit enter, but you hit enter. And then what you're going to do is go ahead and just type what I have here on my program. Um, delete instrafine port. Now again, for me it's COM42, whatever COM port it is for you, fine. Uh, clear all, we're going to create a global variable S. Then we're going to say S is equal to the serial of COM42. Now just FYI, if I go down here and I say um, S equals serial COM42. 42 and if I hit enter you get this basically it's saying okay um, it goes to COM42 it expects a baud rate of 9600 it will expect a line feed as a terminator right now it's closed and off okay so my um, next line I can say file open file open s and um, well 
Okay, now it's open. Okay, um, so let's go back here. Just, uh, you know, again, um, now offhand, let me just try this. Com, if I put the wrong port in, let's say com5, it should have given me, okay. If I try to say file open s, yeah, right. There it gives me an error. It says, hey, uh, COM5 is not available. It does help you, and it says COM3 is available, uh, and it says you instrafine to delete out your other stuff. So anyway, just throwing that out there. If you put a wrong number in, whoops. Okay, so anyway, got that bad. Just just to let you know how that works. Okay, let's get back to our MATLAB program. Okay, so again, I start off everything with delete, clear all of my variables, create a global variable S, and then I say S is going to be the serial port COM42. Now I'm gonna create an array of 200 zeros. And um, now I'm gonna, uh, you know, open my file. I could have switched the order, that doesn't matter. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm writing a for loop for A equals 1 to 200. B is scan F. Okay, scan the file and then it says go to COM42. Uh, this thing right here, the uh, ampersand or percent E E, it means that it's looking for a single number followed by a line feed. Okay, so that's just MATLAB's code. Okay, and that's why I stress to you, you can only send one number and then followed by a line feed. Okay, so scan COM42, look for a number, and then a line feed. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to fill that array with whatever we found in the uh, COM port. And then I say display A and B, and then plot X. Uh, grid on, create two labels. Your Y label is going to say the ADC signal. X label is time. I've created an axis here. Um, you want an axis. Otherwise, if you don't see an axis, MATLAB will automatically keep trying to rescale it. Uh, you can play with that. Turn the ax uh, Comment this out and see what happens to your plot. And then we say draw now. Okay, so let's just go ahead. I'm going to run over to my figures. Whoops, I don't want to do that yet. So I'll come back over to here. And then I'll say run. Now, when I say run, watch me as I, you know, play with my photo cell. Okay, so I'm putting light, dark, light, dark. You can see it showing up on my figure okay and we do 200 and we're done okay so cool now notice I didn't um, obviously I'm going higher than a hundred so I'm gonna set my scale to say I don't know let's try 300 and let's just see if I get into that you can um, you can adjust this as necessary okay so let's run this again and uh, 300 might be a little too high, but nonetheless, you see it's working. Okay, that's the main part. It's working. It's all good. Okay. Um, well, I think that's good enough for where we are right now. See if you can get this to work. Uh, where we're going with this is uh, we're going to be creating a GUI that can take the plot and put it on a GUI. Uh, we're going to have a GUI where we can have push buttons turning on and off things, and then a um, push button where we turn on and plot our data. Okay, so try this for now, and then uh, we'll see what we can do next week. All right, see ya.